Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Manchester United save and it's the start of season three, third and final season with Manchester United and then we're going to go into a much longer term save in the new year. Today coming up we have got transfers in, transfers out, uh, we're going to have a look overlook of the squad as well, brought some youth players into the first team. And we're also going to have our first game of the season. Really tough game, actually. First game of the season, Tottenham at home. We're going to have a look at the schedule and stuff like that, uh, as always. So, let's get into it. Transfers out first. Who are the big names that have gone? The first big name that went was Ander Herrera. I think he was getting towards the end of his kind of lifespan in our team. 30 years old, but he went to he went to Brighton for £22.5 million. Pounds. Ander Herrera is no longer a Manchester United player. He's found his spot in uh, in the Brighton midfield. And uh, yeah, he says his, his potential was diminishing. And I just felt we needed to freshen things up in the middle of midfield. Have um, a little bit more backup for Pogba and Pellegrini. We've certainly done that with the people they brought in. Um, but yeah, Ander Herrera, £22 million off to Brighton. So this man here has followed him to Brighton as well, John Sutar. He went there for £15 million. And again, he just wasn't getting into the team at all. And he was just a level below what I needed as a reserve but a reserve uh, central uh, central defender. So John Sutar also followed him to uh, Brighton for £15 million. The third one is a massive name, the linchpin of our midfield for the first two seasons. Um, and Nemanja Matic has gone to Newcastle. He was in his last year of his contract. He wasn't going to get a new contract. And again, 32 years of age, running down the potential that I really could use him for. And he went to um, he went to Newcastle for 15 million pounds. And uh, yeah, a good kind of a good pr a good price for someone that old. In his last year contract, so yeah, he's off to he's gone to Newcastle. So that's both Matic and Herrera, both out of the uh, of the club. So two midfielders gone, two central midfielders gone. Who have we brought in to replace uh, Matic and Herrera? Well, this is the first man in the door. So Leon Goretzka comes in to be a Manchester United player. Thirty-one million pounds paid for the 25-year-old German. He's going to be playing as that box-to-box -box, uh, midfielder. Plus, we can he can play further forward if there's injuries to other players in the midfield. But if you have a look at his box-to-box -box, uh, attributes, good finishing, good first touch, great long shots, uh, but teamwork off the ball, work rate, physicals are really good, mentals are really good. Leon Goretzka for £31 million, I think, is absolute steal from Bayern Munich, and he's going to slip straight into that middle of midfield or at least help, help out in that midfield with Pogba and Pellegrini. I think they did a lot of work last year, hence why they were injured towards the end of last season. So we need a little bit more strength and depth in the middle of midfield. We've also brought, we've only brought two players in. Leon Goretzka is one. The second one is going to go further forward and probably replace Mata in the first team. And it's this man here. And that's right, I went big. £69 million for Marco Asensio, 24-year-old Spaniard from Real Madrid. He's going to be in this uh, attacking midfielder role. He can also play further back as that advanced playmaker, which we've switched up the roles in the middle of midfield. But he's going to be mainly in behind the striker. Great dribbling, great finishing, great first touch, great composure, really good vision, uh, great passing, great technique as you kind of you would need really um, kind of you expect it from a Spanish player but four star current four and a half star potential ability gonna have a little bit of growth in him in as a 24 year old but all in all only two signings made and I think that's all we needed in the squad as you can see a hundred million pounds spent out of our 300 million pound uh, budget 78 million pound brought back in so actually not a bad transfer window for us getting rid of some of the dead wood that wasn't going to get into the squad and actually getting money from them. So Scott, Scott McTominay gone, went out to Sion for 9.25 million. Antonio Valencia has gone to Club Bruges for a maximum of 5.75 million. Uh, Alex Duzerbe went over to uh, LA Galaxy for 4.2. Uh, so yeah, getting some of these youth players that just aren't going to make the grade uh, out with for some money actually, to be fair. So uh, made a really good, uh, really good contribution to that 78 million pound. So this is the squad. Um, it's a fairly big squad, 25-man squad, which is the maximum you can have. I've also brought Tyler Adams into the first team fold as well as back up on that right-hand side, but he can also play in the middle of midfield if we needed to as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, really good, uh, really good uh, 
attributes on this on this kid. Brought him in in the first season from New York, free transfer. He went out on loan to Udinese last year. Had a really good spell in Serie A. Um, good attributes as a as a fullback, but again, he can also play as a box to box midfielder. He's got um, the energy and the mental attributes to go out there and do the job. So Tyler Adams comes in as uh, as backup to the right back slash central midfield. <clears throat> We've still got the likes of Hossam Alra, Jesse Lingard's coming back from his uh, leg break uh, that he sustained at the end of last season. He's only five days away to uh, to come back. Chong stays in the squad this year as well. And we've also brought in Hangel Gomez. A lot of you in the comment section asking how he's getting on. He went out on loan last year to Ipswich. And uh, I thought he had a really good spell at Ipswich. 32 games played, 7 goals, 7 assists, 3 player of the matches on a 6.96 in a really competitive league like the championship so i thought yeah he's uh, done his paid his dues now in the uh, championship he's going to come in and actually be within the first team this season he was in the first team for the first season a little bit because of injuries um, and stuff like that but uh, he's going to have a lot more of a role within this uh, squad angel gomez goes straight in to the first team and uh, yeah we've still got people like lukaku martial Sanchez Cutrone. So we've got a lot of uh, a lot of depth in every single position now, uh, and with the likes of Goretzka helping Pellegrini, Pogba, and Alra in that middle midfield. So Alra is going to drop down now, uh, or drop back into that central midfielder with Marco Asensio coming in as cover for Juan Mata. But we get injuries, we've got cover absolutely everywhere. We've got strength and depth and quality in every single position. So how do you feel we've done in the transfer window? I say two players. Brought in Marco Asensio and Leon Goretzka. And uh, a lot of players gone out. Herrera and Matic being the main two. Uh, but I felt we've got rid of some players that we're just not going to play. And brought in some more quality. As, as you can see for the last couple of seasons. We've not really done masses of uh, transfers with regards to bringing loads and loads of players in. It's been four or five max. And actually uh, this season I only thought we needed a couple. I did. I will tell you this behind the scenes stuff I did go for Kylian Mbappe because I thought we needed a new winger I went for Kylian Mbappe and Julian Brandt um, but looking at it with Angel Gomez with um, Rashford who can play on the wing with Chiesa Lingard coming back into uh, into full fitness I felt actually we don't need someone of that quality so we pulled away uh, but we do still have some transfer funds if we need to in the January transfer window, just a small amount of a 292 million. So if you feel we need someone in this squad, someone, or you need you feel that we uh, we need to sell someone in this squad to bring someone in of a better quality, let me know in the comment section down below, and uh, we will hopefully I'll have a look at all of them, all of them, and if I feel they make sense, I'll get them on, the, I'll get them scouted, and uh, we'll have a look see if we can bring someone in in January. These are the competitions. We've also got the Club World Cup as well because we won the Champions League. So another seven trophies to go for this season. So that's why we need a little bit of a little bit more of a deeper squad going into this one. I felt we're a little bit um we're lacking a little bit in some areas last season and scraped through a little bit. So uh what the ball want me to do this year, win the Premier League. Hopefully fingers crossed that'll be the third consecutive league we win. Reach the semi final of the Champions League. Uh they're not really seeing the Super Cup against our Red Bull Leipzig a, a really important nor is a community shield but we won that we beat city a 2-0 we'll show, I'll show you what, what happened there fa cup we're going to reach to hopefully going to reach the final and the Carabao cup they're not too bothered about that either um so as i said we have played city in the in the community shield we beat them 2-0 uh, patrick cutrone coming off the bench for romelu lukaku and scoring the goal just after the hour mark and hangel gomez again coming off the bench um, on that left hand side as the inside forward scoring a vital goal with about 13 minutes to go and it's another piece of silverware for us in this United save as you can see this is our start to the season uh, Tottenham Southampton Stoke Chelsea Middlesbrough Leipzig in the uh, Super Cup and Leeds away from home so tough tough start with a uh, really tough away games with regards to Southampton and Chelsea and Leeds at the end of September. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough start for us for our defence of the uh, of the Premier League. This is going to be the uh, team that goes into the uh, 
into the game against Tottenham. Um, we've got a couple of players on international duty because of um, the Olympics. So Pogba and Aura are out. Grimaldo, Adams, Lingard and Rashford are all injured. And Martial was injured. He's not fully fit, so he's, he misses out today. But this is the team. De Gea in goal. Dallo, Varane, Diaz and Shaw at the uh, left back. Pellegrini and Goretzka in the middle. Chiesa on the right. Asensio in behind Romelu Lukaku and Alexis Sanchez on that left-hand side. Let's see what Tottenham have got. See if they've brought anybody in over the summer. So Tottenham lining up with a 4-3-3. Uh, Lloris in goal. Trippier, Alderweireld, Vertonghen and Moreno at left back. Dyer, Ali and Eriksen in the middle. Mares comes in for uh, Tottenham. Brought him in in the summer. Douglas Costa on the left-hand side. Harry Kane up top. Uh, they've got Sanchez, Moussa Dembele, Simeone, Lucas Moura uh, and Stefanenko all on the bench. And uh, we're starting with our 4-2-3-1. It's raining in Manchester to kick off this uh, this Premier League season and I'll see you when the first highlight hits. Trippier, two minutes gone, uh, throwing it in but Shaw does well and now uh, Deli Alley into Dyer, good one-two from them, really good midfield from Spurs, Dyer, Alley and Eriksen, Eriksen on the ball now, trying to find Douglas Costa down that left-hand side, gets the ball in and Ruben Diaz with a good header but falls to Douglas Costa again, he shoots, hits the post and David Haya jumps on it, good start from Spurs, couple of minutes in. Alexis driving down that left-hand side, finds Luke Shaw. Good uh, good chemistry between them. Lukaku's there, Lukaku scores. He starts where he finished last season, scoring a really good goal, really good counter-attacking start. It was just after Spurs' uh, shot on goal, hit the post. Alexis comes down this left-hand side, finds Luke Shaw, who then carries on that run. He whips the ball in, and uh, Lukaku at the near post beats Lloris. 1-0 to United. Dallo with a throw in, 10 minutes gone, goes to Chiesa, Pellegrini switches that ball out to Alexis, what a switch that was from the young Italian, Alexis comes in, into Pellegrini again, finds Luke Shaw on this left hand side, always open, Chiesa's in the back post, Chiesa scores, Luke Shaw, two assists on the first day of the season, 2-0 to United, 10 minutes gone, Spurs slightly capitulating here in the first 10 minutes, Pellegrini lovely switch out to Luke Shaw, he finds loads of space down the left hand side, whips the ball in, Chiesa at the back post. Lloris, unlucky really. He, he got some on it, but it's 2-0 to United. Trippier down this right-hand side, but it's a poor throw in and uh, Alexis finds a set Asensio. Asensio driving forward, but Alderweireld does well and uh, gets the tackle in. Lloris starting from the back, but it's a loose pass from Alderweireld and Pellegrini out to Dallow again. A little bit of space for him now to run into. Can he get across in? Yes, he can. Lukaku there. Lukaku scores. That's his second goal of the game. Second goal of the season. First and uh, Diego Dallo this time whipping the ball in on that right-hand side. Uh, it's not just Luke Shaw that's got a decent cross on him. And uh, we go 3-0 up against Spurs. Dallo whipping that ball in and uh, Lukaku just lovely little header knocking it back where it came from. 3-0 to United. Down to Alberto Moreno. 25 minutes gone in the game. Pulls it back to Ericsson. Can he get a shot on goal? Yes, he can, but De Gea turns it round for a corner. A little bit too much space for Ericsson there. Moff for my liking. Need to be closing him down. From that, though, Alderweireld gets the ball out to Trippier. And uh, they're just going to play out from the back into Harry Kane's feet. And it's a loose pass from Harry into straight to Chiesa. And now Lukaku down that channel. Turns inside. Can he find a sense? Yeah, he can. On this left-hand side, gets the ball in. Lukaku's there, and he heads it just over. Great play from Asensio and Lukaku. They're going to have to try and find that chemistry quickly. Dallo in the uh, Dallo in the air, but that's a good save by Luis. Tips it onto the corner, on, on the onto the post. Chiesa, lucky deflection to Alexis, and Alberto gets that ball clear. From that throw-in, Shaw goes back to Goretzka, into Luke Shaw, Pellegrini now, into Goretzka, and they just got a lovely switch out by Goretzka. Dallow again on this right-hand side, loads of space, Lukaku's there, that is his hat-trick in this game. Half an hour hat-trick for Romelu Lukaku, 4-0 to United, first game of the season. These new players really are turning on the style for the uh, the home team. And uh, Diego Dallo getting that ball in again. Lukaku headers it home. 3-0 to United. Two assists for Dallo. Two assists for Luke Shaw. That sees us through to half-time. Spurs threatened at the start of the game, but we've come out and absolutely dominated. Goretzka, Asensio, Dallo, Shaw, Lukaku all playing fantastically well. And uh, yeah, great 4-0 scoreline. I'm going to say passionately, very happy with the way things are going. Carry it on, keep it going in the second half and hopefully get you more goals. 
Asensio is going to whip that ball in, and he does. Luis punches clear. Lukaku picks up the ball, and now he gets tackled by Eriksen. And Dallo should uh, mop that ball up, and he does into Luke Shaw, but gets tackled by Mares and now Varane just taking control back to uh, De Gea. But it's an awful back pass from uh, Rafa Varane. Kane into the middle, into Ruben, uh, into I think that was Mares, but Ruben Diaz gets the ball clear. Now Asensio running at the Spurs defence. Can he shoot? Yes, he can. Great save by Lloris. Tips it over onto the bar for a corner. Asensio now is going to take that corner, whips that ball in, trying to find someone at the back post. Luke Shaw's there. Lloris co covers that pretty comfortably. 20 minutes ago, slight change. Lindelof's gone to right back, Dallo to left back, Chong in for Chiesa, and Catrone's gone up front for Lukaku. 15 minutes to go, De Gea gets there, and uh, Goretzka gets the ball clear. David De Gea a little bit iffy there in, uh, in coming from that cross. Ruben Diaz now from a free kick. Alexis into Goretzka. Goretzka chipping it over to Lindelof. Gets there before the uh, winger into Catrone and he heads over. Unlucky from the young Italian. He's done been in really good goal scoring form Catrone in pre-season and he came off the bench for against City and won us the Community Shield. So he's in better form this season. Brought him in in January. Settled down now it looks like and hopefully he can score a few more goals this season. Dembele now with the ball at his feet and he's just going to have a little run and uh, go for the right hand side into Simeone. Diego Costa in, Lin, gets the ball through to Harry Kane. Thought Lindelhoff got the uh, better of him but Harry Kane gets that ball in. Douglas Costa with the assist. Let's see this in 3D. Dembele down that uh, right hand side into Simeone. Gets the ball across and uh, yeah I thought Lindelof got there but Douglas Costa just poked it towards Harry Kane and it's United 4 Spurs 1. A few seconds of the game. Dominant display in this one for United. Um, Spurs coming back into it in the second half a little bit. We took our foot off the gas and that is it. United 4, Tottenham 1. Lukaku with a hat-trick. Chiesa with the other. And then Harry Kane with a consolation 10 minutes before uh, time. And all in all, a fantastic performance. Romelu Lukaku with a 9.6 for his hat-trick. Puts him in the running already for the Golden Boot this year. If he can continue the way he's going to be playing. So transfers in and out, new first game of the season, starting off as we mean to go on. We're going to be back for the Leipzig and the Leeds game. Plus, in the middle of that, we're going to do the Champions League draw as well. So that'll be the next episode tomorrow. But that's it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I know there's a lot of new people out there. So if you are new, hit that subscription button. And remember, also tick that little bell icon so you're notified every time a video goes live. And until next time, when we bring you the European Super Cup, hopefully another piece of silverware and a big derby against Leeds. I'll see you soon.